Good morning students. We as nurses pledge to give our best in the healthcare. But do we get best while deep learning? There's a little initiative from our side that we will present online lectures via our YouTube channel. Please support us, like our channel, subscribe the channel and we will pledge to deliver the best lectures to you so that best reaches you and you provide best healthcare. As we are aware that there are not many platforms for nurses students on online platforms and YouTube. So here we start a little initiative and we will continue with daily lectures. Kindly support us and join our community. Uh, a very good morning to all of you. Uh, I am Nasir Bhatt. Um, we are going to teach here uh, the biochemistry portion of your syllabus. Okay. Today's topic for the discussion is fluid mosaic model. The topic for today's discussion is fluid mosaic model. As you know, the plasma membrane is a very important structure in the organization of a cell. Okay. Earlier there were a number of models which described this plasma membrane as an entity. For example, there was Daniel and Davison model. Then there came another model, Robertson model, and we call that as unit membrane model. But the most widely accepted model of plasma membrane is a fluid mosaic model. It's also known as Singer and Nicholson model. It was put forward in 1959. Okay, so this Singer and Nicholson model explains this plasma membrane in detail. As we know, from this diagram, we can see there is a lipid bilayer, and this lipid bilayer is surrounded by several protein molecules. Okay, but this is not a lipid bilayer as it was suggested in the Daniel and Davison model and Robertson model. This is actually, if we summarize this lipid, this fluid mosaic model in one line, it's a protein icebergs floating in a sea of lipids. You can see from here. There are proteins from outside. There are proteins from the cytosolic side. This is the external surface of the cell. This is the internal surface of the cell. We call this portion as the cytoplasm. We call this as a cytoplasmic phase. And this portion is external side of the cell. In this lipid, this fluid mosaic model, when we come to the proteins, there are proteins on inside and proteins on outside. Two types of proteins are there. One is extrinsic proteins and we call them as peripheral proteins. And another is intrinsic proteins or we call them as integral proteins. Very precisely these intrinsic proteins are very difficult to extract because they are embedded in the plasma membrane. These peripheral proteins, as you see here, they can be easily extracted. They can be easily extracted without disrupting the membrane. But integral proteins, they can't be extracted without disrupting the whole membrane. Okay. This is the general overview of fluid mosaic model. Proteins suspended in a sea of lipids. It can summarize this whole model. Now, different kinds of proteins are here. Some proteins on the external surface, we call them as peripheral proteins. They are bound with carbohydrate moiety. We call them as glycoproteins. And some are with lipids, glycolipids. And we call these, these proteins have the endogenic specificity. They act as the endogenic receptors on the cell surface, on the plasma membrane. When it comes to the integral proteins, these proteins are either embedded in the plasma membrane or they, as you see, they span the membrane. Those proteins which span the membrane once are called as bitopic proteins. There are some proteins which span the membrane multiple times. We call them as multitopic proteins. Okay. We call them as multitopic proteins. When we come to the lipids, when we come to the distribution of lipids in the plasma membrane, most predominant is 
phospholipids, glycerophospholipids. One important phospholipid present in the plasma membrane is lecithin. That is known as phosphatidylcholine. Phosphatidylcholine, you might be knowing that it is a lung surfactant. Dipalmetyl lecithin. That acts as a lung surfactant. If it is absent in a newborn baby, it causes respiratory distress syndrome. This is about the brief introduction of fluid mosaic model. I will summarize in one minute. It is a protein by protein by layers on the outside and there is a phospholipid, a huge phospholipid chunk in between. Either some people will say they, they are two bilayers, but we cannot say they are the bilayers. Then we cannot differentiate fluid mosaic model from the Robertson model because that says it is two bilayers. Actually, it is a sea of lipids in which proteins are embedded, either inside or outside, known as external proteins or peripheral proteins and intrinsic proteins and integral proteins. Thank you so much.